Going carnivore in Thailand, day 26. Well, I can lift my arm up that high. I've got this control. I'm still having trouble getting it this way. Like, I can lift this, lift that. That's very difficult, if not painful, on the side where I fell. Thank you, Macro. M-A-K-R-O, by the way. Um, the scale. Well, it's still stalled. But I don't feel as though the loss of inches is stalled. I know that sounds weird, but I, I feel it and I see it everywhere. Um, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Not a lot of good sleep. My arm hurt like hell. Uh, I try not to take anything serious. I actually do have some serious pain medication. That is still good, but past its expiration date because I never take it. But for right now, two ibuprofen seem to help a little bit. And I'm trying to lay on my back, and it seems like I can get my arm up if it's laying flat on a mattress. So I can hold it up. Uh, you know, like if you're laying flat, you put it like that, you can, you can do it. So this slowed me down a little bit. What did I do for breakfast today? It was, uh, we had eggs, bacon butter that's about it coffee i've been adding butter to my coffee trying to get a little more fat intake uh i've been even adding a pinch of salt sometimes in my water make sure i get enough of that and tonight we're having brisket and the brisket was sous vide at 66 degrees in the sous vide for over three days i was initially going for 36 hours i think i got closer 42 hours so now that it's sous vide on the inside we'll put a meter thermometer in it put it we'll uh coat it with some avocado oil and put some brisket rub on the outside of it stick it in the air fryer and fry up a crust i expect the brisket will be dry but tender, easy to chew, tastes good, but dry. So what do you do with dry meat? Well, you can add butter, melt butter over top, and that helps a little bit. But believe it or not, I have found that mustard is my go-to. Good old French's yellow mustard. No calories, no carbs, no sugars. No protein. It's amazing. It's one of the foods that you go into the grocery store and read the nutrition label and it's zero, 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 zero. And it just, it almost is, I'll be, the label should say, has taste, bottle contains taste, but not nothing else. And Jesus Christ, they give you these little bottles here. Okay, and this is Heinz, but I've been using French's. And Dan Bottle says it's got nine ounces in it, but it goes so fast, it's unbelievable. It's like they just don't put anything in there. It says nine ounces, but I, I think it, when you look in it, when you pull the lid off, it's like half full. It's just, it's shameful what they're doing now. I mean, you know, every, every couple of days you got to get a new bottle. You know, charge us for this and give us a full bottle for Christ. Oh, well. Grumpy old man here spouting off against the mustard wars of shrinkflation. It's lame. But it is what it is. Now,
I don't have anything else. Everything else other than my shoulder screwing me up, I couldn't exercise today in the pool because getting in and out of the pool requires my arm to use the hand railing because the steps are still 10 inch steps. So they're pretty deep steps. So I usually use the hand railing going down. I can't get my arm up to do that. So hopefully in the next couple of days, I know nothing's, nothing's actually broken. There's no swelling. There's no bruising on the outside, no black and blue. It is what it is. Look, all your comments to come, I greatly appreciate them. I read every one of them. I try to answer all those that that uh, have an answer to them. So keep the comments coming. Like, share. Like to build this into a community. I've lost a ton of weight. I've lost inches. If it wasn't for this injury, I'd be feeling great. So if I can help anybody else by providing information, that's what I'm trying to do here as well as document my own journey. So for day 26,